As you guys may or may not know, I have done everything you can possibly do in blocks for I have every single accessory, every race awakening, every fruit, and every fruit awakening, including every sword and every gun there is in the game as well. So I decided to drop this video and help you guys out. I'm gonna give you guys a top five list of things you need from every single C. Whether you're a noob and you need help starting off in the first C, or you're a seasoned pro and a sweat that needs to get everything in the third C, these will be the items I recommend for every C. Starting off with the first thing, we actually have to go over to the jungle. And over here at the jungle, there is this hidden door. So if you haven't done the puzzle quest yet, I dropped a whole separate video into that. I'm not going to go into depth in that because that's really long actually. But this door will be locked for you. And once you unlock it, you could go in here and fight this boss. He actually has a sword called Saber. He is known as the Saber Expert. This sword is one of the best swords you can possibly get in the first C. And did you also know you can awaken it later on? So a free sword that you can awaken is pretty good. It can hold its own through the first entire C and even halfway through the second C. The awaken abilities are pretty strong too. Like, I don't have any points into the sword, but it deals a really crazy amount of damage when you actually take it seriously. But if you're too lazy and don't want to do a whole puzzle quest to unlock this area, there's actually another secret area where you can just walk into. You don't need to do anything special. And that's over at the underwater city. If you go over here, there will be a hidden door back here. It's like almost impossible to see, but do you see this weird color square slash rectangle if you go to the left of it and go inside this wall there is a water kung fu teacher here and he teaches you the water kung fu fighting style this is actually the best fighting style you could get in the first c and it is not too shabby for the second c either but it is really good for grinding and i highly recommend you get it because it's gonna be important later on in this video and even if you're too lazy to even grind that there is actually another pay to win system as well i believe this belongs in the top five still because you can do a a lot of things with it and that's right i am talking about the dark blade i have this thing mastery 548 it is pay to win like i said but it is one of the strongest swords in the game that you can get and you don't have to grind for it at all but buying it and being super strong with it is not the only thing you can do with it in the first seat you could also get dark blade v2 and dark blade v3 in the second seat but dark blade v2 is really easy to get not much grinding and it is a cool thing you can do to your sword right here i have a white outer glow because i have it v3 normally it would be green and just showing you guys the damage on this npc it actually hurts a lot 4.4k damage is really good and i don't even charge it up all the way i one shot that guy with 5.1k damage that is really good i can't believe i have to say this next one but somehow people sometimes forget this and you know i don't blame them i forget things all the time but we actually have to go to snow for this one and this is like this ice area if you don't recognize where i'm at as soon as you land to this island if you go to the right of it there's this little little cave over here and once you go in this little cave there is an ability teacher if you go ahead and talk to this guy he will teach you three different things he will teach you air jump aura and flash step so if you don't know what air jump is you can basically jump in the air multiple times and aura is my hockey my full body hockey that i have on right now which gives you extra damage and protects you of course last but not least is flash step which is that little teleport ability pretty cool right but somehow people have managed to forget and you know what that's okay but the last thing i would recommend for the first c is actually actually over at the last island it's actually over at fountain and once you get to fountain you should go over to the boss known as cyborg as you can see he has some glasses on and those are some of the best glasses you can get in the first C. they gave you extra health mana damage and a bunch of other things as well i have them right here in my inventory i don't think you can see it if i put it on yeah you can't really see anything but that is something i recommend getting in the first C. but that is my top five for the first C. let's go ahead and go to the second C. so now that we're in the second see we could go ahead and go to the cafe and over at the cafe you could actually get a super rare sword it is known as the true triple katanas and it is the sword that zoro uses in one piece i did a whole separate video on this as well they are really strong and really overpowered but it is also one of the hardest swords to get in the second c but then again i highly recommend them and they're still a must to get if you don't want to do all the grinding there's always an alternative which is going to be our second item on this list if we go ahead and we go over to the winter castle and we go all the way up here there's usually a boss that spawned up there but back here there is a hidden door it's almost impossible to see but if you walk inside of it there will be a chest here and by unlocking the secret chest you will get a sword known as the rengoku sword and yes if you watch anime i'm talking about rengoku from demon slayer even though this game is about one piece they for some reason added in a demon slayer sword it is a really good sword that i recommend getting if you don't want to do all the crazy grinding for true triple katana 
And a bonus is that you hold this sword very weirdly. Like, why are you grabbing it down there, bro? What are you doing? But that's enough being sus. For the third thing I would recommend is actually going over here at Doghouse. Talking to this guy and doing his quests will give you Race Awakening V3. It is actually one of the easiest things to do in the second C, and it will put you ahead and give you a lot of benefits while grinding. So I highly recommend doing Race V3. The fourth thing on my list is actually going over to Raid, or known as the Fruit Awakenings. The Fruit Awakenings is something you can also do in the third C, but I highly recommend getting them out of the way and just doing them here. You can awaken all 12 fruits in the second C, believe it or not. It's not very common though, because it is a little bit harder and requires more players to complete. You can also get these chests for getting Rabbit Race V3, because that's part of it. But the last fifth thing I would recommend for the second C is actually known as one of the ultimate fighting styles, known as Superhuman. If you go ahead and sail to an island called Snow, there is a little hidden cave somewhere where you could actually talk to an NPC and get superhuman fighting style. You just gotta jump all the way down here and inside this little cave, you go down here and to the right. He is known as the martial arts master and if we go ahead and talk to him, he will go ahead and give us our superhuman. Superhuman learned and of course it doesn't cost anything to switch back to it but as you can see, those are my top five things to get in the second C. Now it is time to go to the third C. So now that we're here, my number one thing I would highly recommend for everybody to get if you're in the third C are these bad boys right here. Cursed Dual Katanas. If we go ahead and equip the Cursed Dual Katanas, you can see I have the Mastery 600 max level and upgraded. These are probably the most strongest swords you could get in the entire game. The abilities are really strong and they are really cool as well. The second thing has actually been hiding right in front of your face this entire video. And I'm pretty sure you guys see me use it in every video as well on top of this video. It is what I have around my neck right now. It is called the Pale Scarf. It's a legendary accessory, and this thing is overpowered. You can get this scarf by killing the Doe King, but it is quite a grind. I'm not gonna lie. You have to kill about 500 NPCs, and I'm not sure if it's a 100% drop chance, but if it is, then you have no reason not to get it. It is a 100% you must have. And if you don't know how to get any of the items I just showed you guys, I have done videos on every single thing I have explained. I had to join a public server for this next one. This is actually Observation V2, paired up with the pale scarf. So as you guys can see, I turn on my observation and I can see everybody in the entire map, no matter how far they are. What's even more overpowered about observation V2, which is a must that you must have, is that you can see what every player is using. So if I get close enough to this guy who actually has angel race equipped right now, I can see that he's using the rumble fruit and he's trying to fight me because I'm just trying to take a look at him. Same with this guy. Oh gosh, he's trying to fight me. What's going on, bro? I can see that he's using the doe fruit, god human, true triple katanas, and soul guitar. And like I said, if you don't know how to get Observation V2, it's quite easy. Just go ahead and watch my other video on that too. The fourth thing I would recommend to get in the third C now would actually have to be Race Awakening V4. You go ahead and get Race Awakening V4 actually all the way on top of the Great Tree. I have done multiple videos on this, so if you don't know how to do it, you just actually go up to this Temple of Time and do your race trials up there. There is an invisible NPC you talk to and so on, and he will take you to the Temple of Time. And basically, this is how you you do it. But to top off this list, there is still one more thing you have to get in the third C if you want to be a pro at the game. This one requires the most grind out of everything I have mentioned, and it is the ultimate thing in all of Bloxfords. If we go ahead and go back to the floating turtle, and we go back to turtle center, there is actually an NPC we have to talk to that's hidden in a tree. The NPC is actually right behind this fortress, right over here. We're gonna go ahead and step on this branch right here, go inside this little hidden door right here and down this hole. There's an ancient monk down here who will actually teach you the fighting style of God Human. And this is the most overpowered fighting style in all of Bloxfruits. And of course, if you don't know how to get it, you know who to watch. But that covers my list of top five things to get in every single C. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.